Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is in the building. I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificent, and marvelous today. <coughs> I'm so ooh, still got a little itchy, itchy throat there. Today's Thursday, September 21st, 2023. And I hope everybody's doing magnificent, marvelous, and wonderful because I am. Anyway, I wanted to come on through this morning and talk about some things you know and uh, just to let you know um if i had i mean i'm sure you've heard i have a new podcast out there out in the universe the evolution of the consciousness love is spoken here by michelle carithers and i want you to support that if you choose to if you don't swipe there's so many podcasts and stuff out there and i know that and you know and during this time if you're a young person and you are attempting to Gather knowledge, gather the knowledge, contemplate it, cultivate it, and spur out some of your theories and opinions on how you resonate with the knowledge, what you're gaining from the knowledge, and blah blah blah. And I think you, I think there's this is an ample time to do that. Not to mention your no thought meditation, but it's just so important to get in touch with your consciousness and what you're thinking about. Get in touch with your thoughts. You know, all of us are in our imagination. Some of us all day, especially if you're in a mundane life, in a life that you're not finding much joy and enthusiasm about. You're gonna feel you're gonna feel blah 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 and mundane and bored. So, yes, so with knowledge, knowledge is something that you're supposed to take in. You're supposed to cultivate it, contemplate it, and do some abstract thinking if necessary. Or just sit in no-thought meditation and see what, what comes to you. You know, it's, it's supposed to be an enjoyable experience. But knowledge this, these days is about, when people talk about knowledge, they think that the more they have, the more they have, the better they are than everybody else. You know, they can, you know, they have this um, this need to let everybody know how knowledgeable they are. In other words, how smart they are, how intelligent they think they are. And so they're like stepping over everybody, leapfrogging over people, you know. And so the social media platform sets that up perfectly for that nefarious type of thinking because what they do is they'll scour around the social media platform and try to pick up on what everybody else is doing. They're very good at that. And then and then kind of steal some of the content that everybody's talking about and try to swirl it into something that they claim that belongs to them. And you know, it's a it's so much work doing that instead of just you know, learning something. We're all supposed to be learning something and ele elevating our consciousness, not competing with each other and, and attempting to step on step on all Everybody got a little mark on my lip there. Just ignore it. I know that's hard to ignore because it's sitting right there. <laughs> oh boy, uh, the things the things that we do we go through, you know, in our daily routines of life. You know, if it's not a pimple here, there's a pimple there. So I just don't bother it. I just let it be and let it go away on its own. So anyway, because that's what it is—a pimple, by the way. <laughs> Let's make that clear and effective. So, but yes, knowledge is supposed to be enjoyable. You know, you take it in, you're swirling it around in abstract thinking, you know, and you're and you're contemplating, cultivating, and you and then you'll spew out what you think it means and what meaning you got from the knowledge. That makes it fun. And then if you have other people and like minded people doing that same thing, that's fun, you know. So I think um I mean there's a lot that we have to repair. Some things are irreparable. There's a lot of things that we just don't know. And for some people, unfortunately, your time is gonna run out. And I've said that before, your time is gonna run out because you don't have the window of opportunity to have the time to sit and contemplate and cultivate things because you're gonna always be in a state of emergency. Okay, your subconscious has decided, okay, you're not picking this up 
clearly and effectively, obviously. So let me throw you into some experiences. And so you're going to get yourself thrown into experiences. Whereas you're not going to have a time to read a book. You're not going to have time to cultivate and, like I said, and contemplate and time to meditate. You're going to be worrying about your survival. Okay, going from here to there, everywhere. The same kind of, you know, because I told you back in 2005 when I had planned on coming over here to the West Coast, I was on I-10, honey, and ready to go, wrecked to go, as they say in South. I was, I was, you know, but then I got word that there was a storm coming through. And I was like, oh, man. And, you know, this was one of, you know, it was Katrina. And we know how devastating Katrina was because I was going to take I-10. I took I, most of, I took I-10 for the most route anyway. And then I blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, it was Hurricane Katrina. And I was like, man. So instead, I went to the south of Florida in a town. First, I went into a major town, and I think I told you, a major town in uh, South Florida. You know, fit it. You know, draw the lines. You know, figure out what I'm saying without having me to say it. Think about it. Anyway, when I got to that little famous town. I was staying in a, in a, a relatively well-known hotel, and um, I happened to um, when the when the cleaning crew came in. Uh, I happened to watch how they were cleaning things, and I was like, "Oh, oh." Hmm. So I got a little concerned about that, how they were so-called, quote-unquote, cleaning in this hotel. I'm thinking, wow. And then on top of that, um, no one spoke English. So I felt, you know, I just didn't, I just couldn't relate down there. That's fine in that particular region. So I just went to the, the next town over. And that town was fantastic. So, you know, fantastic in so many ways that it provided me a little bit more room to develop myself. You know, I had some bad experiences. Yes, I did. Uh, during my stay, but it was it was uh, it was it, it was those kind of experiences that I needed. You know, I needed to you know to to be hurt. You know, you know where tears where I where tears were drawn. You know, uh, and there's nothing wrong with crying. You know, whether you consider yourself a masculine or feminine, masculine male, masculine female, feminine male, feminine, you know, there, there were tears. Because, like I said, the tears were not so much by how I was being treated. I mean, it, it was about how I was being treated, but the fact that I was being treated that way. Okay, that was, the, and, and, and the fact that I was carrying a lot of financial loads, you know, during that time with this, this particular incident. And so I, so that means, so what that meant to me is that most people don't give, don't give, most people can care less about each other sometimes. Sometimes you have that type of personalities out there who could care less about anyone's efforts anyone's intentions, whether genuine and, or, or not, you know, and, and I think I said something about this particular person, the way this person used to talk to their kids, I used to hear the rage, the rage and the uh, anger and something, something even more so than anger and rage in her voice when she was talking to her own kids. So, so there was a lot of things that I learned in, uh, in that environment, in the South Florida environment. Um, God, look at my face. I'm always picking and, and, and clearing up stuff off my face. I've been doing that since the beginning. Because stuff, you know, I wash my face. I'm sure this is true with everybody. I wash my face. Everything looks good. My teeth are clean and everything looks good. And as soon as I start recording, there's something in my eyes, in my nose. And oh my God, and I ain't re recording nothing. I said that from the beginning. I just like to flow and let it go. And whatever it falls, it falls. Whatever falls, it falls. So anyway, so yeah, I was I was headed to the West Coast, over here to the West Coast in 2005. I got detoured 
Like I had a detour. You know, it was a path for me to get to the West Coast over here eventually where I am. And I, I talked enough about that, and I'll talk more about it later. For those interested in, you know, in what I'm saying, you have to follow your path. You have to follow your path that's aligned with you. Okay, you cannot be interfering and, and attempting to line things up. There's a difference. You have to take your, you know, you, you, you know, you steer the car, you steer the vehicle, okay? But you have to expect detours. You have to expect road closures. You have to expect damage into the road. And, that, and that's metaphorically, you know, as well as literally and everything in between. So I got detoured. And I end up going south, like I said. And when I got there, there was a storm that went through there too. Nobody talked about it. It was Wilma. And you know, Wilma was, you know, just as devastating. I, I mean, it was a devastating storm to me because I was in the midst of it. I saw the palm trees, how they were bending, and you know, I mean, the palm trees were bending, you know. So I said to myself, "Wow, that was powerful. That was a powerful storm." But thankfully, I was in a uh, and. Uh, an extended stay at the time that was recently remodeled and uh, so it, it, it managed to, to hold up it had the, the right kind of windows you know because Florida has this um, policy or ordinance or statue I don't know what it is about windows and the importance of having proper windows which makes sense but you know at the same time it's how it was implemented and and why why uh, citizens have to have to pay for certain services that are to be, you know it's in other words it says okay we're gonna force you to take these windows and force you to pay for them even though it should have been a natural process to get the windows for everyone and charge why charge people for it but anyway that's another story in itself on how we are charging, um, how policies are drawn and written, you know, basically threatening people, you know, and not allowing people to have free will and take responsibilities and be held accountable and responsible. We take that all, we always take that always away to where we want to control people. We, when I say we, I'm talking about the pyramid government, the pyramid elite, you know, the hidden hands, it's, you know, it's all about controlling people. Don't think you're going to do what I tell you to do. That's, that's, that's the mentality. So, but anyway, there was a storm there too. So you can't avoid, I'm, so you don't, I, <clears throat> my point is, should I have continued going west on I-10? No. Something inside of me said, no, no, no. So I trust that. That's why I went south. I wasn't ready to go to the west. I wasn't ready to be here in the west. That's the whole point. I wasn't ready to be here. Now I'm ready to be here. I'm thriving. I'm striving. I'm developing. I'm learning. I'm growing. You know, you know, developing love. I'm loving, loving, loving all the time. So there's just a lot to learn, and it ought to be fun. It ought to be enjoyable to 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 um, take in knowledge. You know, why would you want to? Think that okay, that's it. I graduated from high school. Okay, that's it. That's enough. I'm done. You know. And so there's a lot to learn, and it's going to take a lot of unraveling. It's going to take a lot of unraveling. That's going to be so uncomfortable for people. So uncomfortable that a lot of people just can't handle it and can't manage it. You know. And so you got to unravel your beliefs. Why do I believe this? Your convictions. Your supernatural. Just challenge them. Ask yourself why you have them. I'm not saying get rid of them, but I'm. I mean, at the end of the day, you're gonna realize over the course of time you don't need them. But figure it out on your own. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. These are my opinions and theories. Okay. So I am. You know, getting through all of all of this, you know, because okay, I made the journey, I made it to a destination. So now I need to be cultivating and contemplating how 
this destination is going to unfold. Okay, because a lot of people stay in the journeys too long because they don't want to get to the destination because they can't handle the uncertainties of it. There's an uncertainty. Certain things that you may have planned and hoped to 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 cultivate and contemplate and develop with either with someone, with a group, with a job, you know, with the uh a community with a neighborhood may not may not come out as as you planned it. There's a lot of uncertainty with that. A lot of people don't want to face that. They don't want to face disappointments. They don't want to face failures. They don't want to face having to and and, and, and you know they have this um, you know especially if you came over here for a job and you get over here and they lay you off. What are you gonna do? Okay, or you get over here to meet up with someone. And they ghost you. What are you going to do? Or you get into a neighborhood. You purchase a home. You know. Everything's. You know. And once you get in there. You realize the inspection. There was a flawed inspection. And you your house is. You know. Near a sinkhole or something. No one paid attention to that. Or you come over to a certain region. And your house burns down. You know, your vehicle is stolen. I mean, it's, there's certain uncertainties of things that can happen. So, I prepare myself for all of it. <laughs> and I'm enjoying the moment. Okay, so far, my, so far, everything is in, in alignment as to exactly as I visualized it that it would be. Yes, there's some uncertainties, but I, I still, I'm still enjoying the moment. I'm still enthusiastic. I'm still joyful. And I wouldn't change a thing ever. This is where I this is where my path led me here. This is where my alignment led me here. And so uh, I'm enjoying the moments and taking it all in. And um, you know, and I hope to bring others along with me. I hope to help others to, you know, get to that space. And it's a, it's a space inside of you. That's the point. You could be anywhere or everywhere, but it's inside you. It's an inside job. It's an internal job. You know, you have to work on it internally. And once you do that, it really won't matter where you are, actually. But, you know, we all need to have our preference of where we want to stay based on the weather and based on the conditions, you know, and how it may be easier to survive here than to survive there and this and that and the other. You have to look at it in those terms. So... I just want to go ahead and put this video out this morning on a Thursday. Um, I have some things that are coming up shortly. Um, you know, and I'm going to say how that manages and how it works out. Um, my life is busy. My life is full. My life is developing. Um, and it is a, it's a work in progress. It's all that and more. So stay the path. That's all I'm saying. Trust your sensing, your receiving. Okay, stay the path. You know, I know a lot of people say, well, don't say so much about your goals. I, I agree. You know, if you can't handle people countering you all the time, it doesn't bother me. Challenge me, counter me, ask me questions. But a lot of people don't want to be, have to explain themselves to people. Because I've known some people that, have, like I said, they'll go to a certain place because they were offered a job and once they get there it was rescinded and this person has moved all of their shit in that environment so what does that mean you just have to regroup re-manage and take a hold of the steering wheel take a hold of it and see feel here where you may have missed something you know and and, and and be and being gentle about it always be gentle we all make mistakes we all have misunderstandings we're all misunderstood something could have been said that was uh, taken out of context because um that happened to me as well let me tell you about a story real quick when i was in the south florida region I decided I wanted to get another, I wanted to purchase an investment property, okay? I did everything I was supposed to do. You know, went into the office, fill out the applications, 
told her I was approved, blah, blah, blah. Got a realtor, went looking around for places, and this and that and the other. Found a place that I wanted to, to, to purchase. And for some reason, uh, something was going off in me and saying, Michelle, something's not right here, something not right. <coughs> but I wanted that property so bad. And there again, that's when you when you start not paying attention to the signs and the, and the signposts. Hey, you're going to get the experiences and you're going to learn one way or the other. So it turns out <clears throat> I did not even qualify for the loan. It turns out I didn't even have a loan. It turns out I was part of a scheme that was going on down there in South Florida where these major realtors had were essentially extorting people and they were targeting women telling women telling them okay you just need to put this down payment so you can secure this to put this you know they kept getting getting money getting money getting money and um you know they got money from me uh, i filed a claim with uh the agency in florida which was useless and wasteful because they can care less because they were so, they're always behind the day ball. These agencies, when fraud is going on, the reason fraud can exist at all is because the agencies that are supposed to be the watchdogs for that are behind the eight ball. They have no idea what's going on out in in fraud land or when people are spamming. They have no idea what's going on with that because you know why? Because usually they're empty chairs. There's no one in those agencies that know anything about what's really going on. They only come in when there's outcry and emergencies. <clears throat> so they got me for, I'm not sure, but it wasn't, it wasn't, I think it was 2000, whatever, whatever they told me to put down on the house or because it was going to be a, it was a townhouse. And then, so I got, I got swept up in that. The, the uh, realtor the, who was the froster said, he kept saying, yeah, we're about to close, Michelle. We're about to close. They kept telling me we're going to close. We're going to close. We're going to close. So I decided, well, let me, and, and, but somebody was telling me, and that's the part, like I said, I wasn't paying attention to the signs. This one woman said, look, did you, do you realize that your debt ratio is blah, 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 blah. She said, and she said, so how in the world did you qualify for this loan? And, and so she just kept questioning me via email, actually. And uh, I got upset with her. I'm like, who the hell are you questioning? You know, I got upset with her. But she was just trying to tell me. She was telling me something I just didn't want to hear. That's all that was. I didn't want to hear that I had been involved in a fraud. Anyway, I, I attempted to file the claim with the state. Like I said, that was wasteful and useful. I mean, useless. They're not there to help because they have no idea what's going on. Trust me. And most of these agencies that are supposed to be watchdogs, they have no idea what they're doing. And they have no idea what they're watching for. That's why, you know, that's why there's so many victims of spam that has been going on for how many years? I mean, at least 30 years probably since, they, since we started going on the Internet, you know. So, so there's uncertainty is my point. You're going to fail. You're going to make mistakes. But you need to listen to the signs, listen to the signposts, and pay attention, you know, and don't beat yourself up if you make mistakes. Okay, maybe I got too excited about that. You know, maybe I, maybe I was, um, maybe I missed signs, maybe I missed cues, or maybe I missed signposts. Maybe I was just too enthusiastic, maybe I was in delusion, maybe I was in a fantasy, something. But be gentle with yourself. When you discover that you, yes, maybe you've been made a fool of, maybe you've been taken advantage of, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's happening to all of us. And so it could happen to the best of us too. You know, I don't care how much meditation I have or how much I'm highly sensory. I can still be used. I can still be taken advantage of. I can still be made a fool of, you know, I don't ever, uh, accept that. You know, all because of my skills and abilities, I can't be used and taken advantage of. That's 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 delusional, actually. <laughs> and you do need to laugh at yourself. You need to smile. 
go take a walk, go walk through the park, do something. Take it off of being, take some of this load of taking everything so personal. Take it off of your shoulders and stop it. Okay, it's happening to all of us. Okay, it doesn't feel good to lose money. I know that, especially when you work hard for it. It doesn't. It, it doesn't feel good to lose a job. It doesn't feel good to lose a loved one. It doesn't feel good to lose, um, you know, you lose your mind, okay, and know it and know there's nothing you can do about it, those kind of things. Or you're experiencing a health-related situation, you know, whether it's cancer, whether it's heart disease, whether it's this or that or the other, okay? Enjoy the moments. Enjoy each other. Be gentle, Okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love to everybody all over the stars, all over the moon and mountains. And trust me, I'll be back.